famous Bond Street beauty parlour come a bunch of pretty nurses. They're greeted by director Miss Eleanor MacDonald. And why not? Except that a nurse's salary doesn't usually run to Bond Street prices. The answer? They're here not as customers, but as students. Miss MacDonald personally teaches a new group of half a dozen every month. It's an official part of their training, and a great victory for Miss MacDonald, who has been maintaining for years that beauty treatment could play a big part in bringing women hospital patients back to health. First hospital to accept her offer of free help was Good Mays in Essex, where she was proved triumphantly right. Good Mays is a mental hospital, and if you can persuade a mentally ill woman to take interest and pride in her appearance, you may even swing the balance between despair and recovery and, incidentally, make relationship between nurse and patient easier. No half measures here. The room is a proper beauty parlour, with the nurses Miss MacDonald trained wearing pink overalls over their civvies. Once Miss MacDonald was a voice crying in the wilderness. Now, a dozen hospitals have adopted her idea, and there are as many more on her waiting list. Some places can't spare the staff for such training. Coombe Farm, a spastics home near Croydon, is one of them. Here, Miss MacDonald comes herself to teach the girls the secrets of beauty culture. Coombe Farm isn't a hospital, and in this case, beauty treatment isn't part of any cure. But she believes any woman can make herself look more attractive by her own efforts, and she enjoys giving up her time to help them learn. And for our money, Miss MacDonald's doing a grand job. 